thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Talk the Talk. I'm your host, Dish Palay Patron, and joining me today is Priscilla Bula. She's the dealer principal at VW Klebsdorp. Now, Klebsdorp is a long way from Johannesburg, and I'm so pleased once again that uh, a woman. Um, you know, recognizes the importance of this platform, the significance of this platform and have traveled so far um, to spend some time with us and help us to encourage, educate and uplift women in the motoring trade. Um, over the years, Priscilla has realized that their dealership is only as successful as the employees who run it. Um, as a result, she empowers her team to make spot-on decisions and I think um, this is one of the reasons she was nominated for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards uh, 2022 and yes, she has been nominated for one of the top categories which is the category of excellence. Um, she has learned uh, to trust her employees but you also hold them accountable, she believes, um, her team know the importance of their role and how it plays into the greater scheme because she has evidently articulated it. Priscilla has created an environment where her team stay for the long haul. Reducing turnover means more knowledgeable staff, um, less training and ultimately more competent and engaged employees and she has done just that over the years. Once again, I have spent some time with Priscilla off air and um, she's such a pleasure to be around, so accomplished in her own right. She has restaurants and um, so many, she's involved in so many charitable organizations. So we kind of speak the same language when it comes to, uh, you know, offering our services in other areas. Let's welcome Priscilla and as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Seriti Solutions and Evo by NetBank. Hello Priscilla. Hi Desh. Everything I said about you is so true, right? Oh, you're such a phenomenal woman. You've actually blown me away. Thank you so much for that lovely intro. And um, I must say, I feel privileged sitting here with you today, especially after reading all about uh, your accomplishment and oh. where you are. Uh, you're actually a mentor. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, you know what? Priscilla, you, I'm going to stop this interview right now. Now you can go back, okay? Because that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Gosh, uh, Priscilla, you humble me because you actually are a leader. And um, for someone to be saying those words to me, it really validates everything that I'm doing. It really gives me that, that encouragement and the strength to actually... Sure, I still believe I'm a hustler. I'm still hustling. People think Desh has arrived. Desh has arrived. No way. <laughs> um, it's, still a, it's, it's still a struggle to, to try and keep everything going. But it's women like you that gives me the strength and gives me that encouragement, as I said, to make sure that I do not give up. So thank you for that. So the reason you're here is because of the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you to you, thank you to NetBank, uh, Sariti, Avo um, for recognizing me. It really means a lot and um, it's actually a really good to recognize women in this way mm -hmm. because in the motor industry it's very different. Mm -hmm. um, it's a challenge and yes. um, I really appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. So we have a few followers on our page and you're here because we'd like for them to get to know you and make a conscious decision in terms of who they are voting for um, and that's one of the reasons mm -hmm. here. so I'm going to start off by asking you about your journey in motoring South Africa but I also want to take it 
one step further with you because you have a colorful life. Um, just tell me about uh, you know your life in Clarkstrop. You are from Durban, couldn't speak Afrikaans, very Afrikaans yes. town. Your daughters, three of them, are speaking the language, very fluent in it. But you, um, you know, had to navigate. So let's start off with your journey in the trade. Okay, uh, it's actually an awesome story. Mm -hmm. I started at NetBank, mm -hmm. so being a net banker, top achiever for South Africa. And I always drove past the Mercedes-Benz garage and said, oh, I want to drive all of these vehicles. Mm -hmm. So I was actually lucky to be given that opportunity. Right. As I started off as a sales executive right at the bottom mm -hmm. and worked myself as a manager. Mm -hmm. And Safao, so I'm grateful that I um, joined them 2019 at VW uh, Clockstop mm -hmm. as the dealer principal and I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. um, it's an awesome group to work for. The most beautiful range of cars, VWs are really, really lovely. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm glad that they've given me that platform. And I really want to show them that uh, woman power and I can take it right to the top. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know for sure that you are really passionate about what you are doing and staying uh, in the trade because let's be honest uh, you could be a woman of leisure um, <laughs> we both know that I mean you have other businesses your husband and you have other businesses so this is just testament to how much and how passionate you are and how committed you are to the work that you are doing you're a dealer principal yes. and uh, you're leading a team of 52 to 53 people That's right. and so you are a mother to them as well how do you do this um Firstly, you have to lead by example, mm -hmm. and I'm an extremely committed person. And um, also, I like to give knowledge and make people grow. Mm -hmm. So, um, very hard work, mm -hmm. I must say. Um, I always try to give my 100% in whatever I put in. I'm a people's person, mm -hmm. love working with people, and um, I think that's what makes me successful. Mm -hmm. uh, I know what I want and I get it. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. Priscilla, how do you feel about the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards and our initiatives that we've started? Really privileged, I must say. Mm -hmm. Extremely um, overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And um, some women tend to shy away and think, you know what, this is a man's world. and forgetting that there are women out there that really uh, you know take their dealerships to the top mm -hmm. and uh, show a difference and I love what I'm doing there's mm -hmm. so much of I think because I have so much of passion mm -hmm. um, in whatever I do um, I enjoy my job and if you don't enjoy it then you will never be successful. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think are the necessary credentials to become a dealer principal? Well, you got to be have leadership qualities. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got leadership qualities, there's no way. You must also have personality, mm -hmm. and you have to be honest, and um, you you must be motivated. Stay motivated. Work hard. Hard work can take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I always give my three daughters mm -hmm. and a lot of people out there that's watching me advice when they ask me for advice. I said, independence is key. Mm -hmm. So if you're an independent woman and you strive for what you want, yes. you'll definitely get it. Absolutely. What advice can you give to women to stay uh, productive and maximize their productivity? Never give up. Mm -hmm. Never feel intimidated in any way. Mm -hmm. um, don't give up easily. Try and if, if that's your dream, as I say, I had a dream to mm -hmm. be in the car world, right. should I say. And coming from NetBank, where I, I was a manager there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, because I always wanted to be in that field, mm -hmm. I proved myself and I went there. Mm -hmm. So I will say, never give up your dream. It's nothing is impossible if you work hard. Absolutely. I think it's very...
apt at this moment for me to say that the most um, you know common way people give up their power is by thinking that they don't have any so it is so important for you to know that you have those strengths uh, yes. those strengths and those attributes do you have any tips and tricks for someone in a similar <laughs> role uh, to more effectively reach their goals um, tips I'll say uh, be yourself mm -hmm. you know uh, be, I'm a po people's person bubbly uh, if you can communicate well that's also very good and work hard take your passion to a new level mm -hmm. you know um, if you have a passion as I said previously and uh, work if you work towards it you'll definitely mm -hmm. heal. okay so in your opinion let's talk about Safal so Kevin Pillay was here um, what a wonderful gentleman and uh, I think Safal has this wonderful culture about yes. them uh, so what is unique for you about the group? A lot of support, I must say. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin and the entire Safawa team, um, higher management, extremely supportive. Mm -hmm. Without the support, you can never get where you want to. And they're constantly trying to grow you. So they yeah. grow me as uh, a woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, they always make me feel that, you know what, I've got this. Yes. So. Yes. It's a family orientated business. Uh, Safao is just really amazing. Mm -hmm. Priscilla, why do you think young girls should look at a career in the motoring trade? Well, I think uh, it's something like, you know, our youth today, they they think, you know, they give up quickly when they matric and think, you know, there's no future for me. but. It's such an exciting trade. There's so much of opportunity mm -hmm. coming from HR, sales, uh, F&I. Yeah. Um, you can do so many things besides just selling a mm -hmm. car. So there's great opportunity. And I think if you want to grow in life, the mm -hmm. motor industry is definitely something that any young girl should look up. I mean, I've got everyone, my girls, they always say, Mom, I want to be like you. Oh, oh, so, that's yeah. the ultimate compliment. Yes. So, they always say, I want to be just like you. You so, know what's the ultimate compliment? When your son tells you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. So, it's actually, Mom, I just want to be like you. Oh. And I must say, um, the young, the youth today, they, there is Yes Candidate uh, programs mm -hmm. that uh, Safao offers where you can actually come in and we train you in different sectors and you can see in which uh, you know you flourish yes. and, and, and gain that knowledge mm -hmm. and we actually pay you while you're training. That's amazing. So can I apply? Are, oh yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get paid while I'm training. <laughs> so, so there is something that our group actually offers. That's I'm sure amazing. other groups also offer it, but VW, Clarksop and other dealerships. Mm -hmm. So, so um, Priscilla, a little bit more about yourself. Sure. Um, I'm going to take you off the, <laughs> the work discussion. Um, you have a restaurant yes. called Mozambique, That's which you all, I love Mozambique, I love their prawns. Um, so tell me about how that project started and when. Okay, um, I have an amazing husband that always stands behind mm -hmm. me. How I many think, years has it been? 27, uh, 27 years. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And um, mm -hmm. I never give up because of him. He's always uh, encouraging me. Mm -hmm. And um, we, when my daughter studied business, we decided to get this for her actually, okay. to build her up. Um, she's business orientated. Mm -hmm. And you can see it, so we basically uh, open Mozambique for her uh -huh. and I must say it's flourishing at the moment yeah. and we're actually very uh, content with what we have. Aww. Well um, I'll be visiting Mozambique in the next couple of weeks so I awesome. have a workshop in Clad store so <laughs> I'm gonna get the best food, food in town. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mozambique but um, well just you know I just thought I would sh shed or shine some light mm -hmm. on Mozambique and empower your daughter in terms yes. of her flourishing thank you well done well done on doing that Priscilla 
Thank you so much for coming all the way. Thank you for this lovely interview. Thank you, Thank for, you for being me. a part of this movement. Uh, I think every woman, you know, we have our WhatsApp groups of 300 people. Um, and and <clears throat> I think if every woman recognizes that you are not being nominated just for your achievement, but you are being nominated because someone believed that you, someone, the person that nominated you believed that you understood what this movement is all about in terms of using your voice yes. to uplift, encourage and empower other women. So I thank you for that. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything you want to add? Uh, just to say that Clockstop uh, Falls Rock in my branch is actually very unique mm -hmm. because I've got 50% uh, women running that branch. Love it. I like Love, it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. So my sales manager is a female my service manager is a female and then me that's the head mm -hmm. and then we've got my uh two uh, males that's managers that's amazing and that's what we want 50 percent yeah. we don't want more than 50 percent feminism is all about equality yes. social economic and political equality we are not Feminist or feminism does not mean that we want to dominate or we we I believe that men and women uh, bring equal to the table and that if we stand in solidarity with each other, we can propel forward and have a wonderful industry. Yes. So I thank you so much thank for you. coming and I will see you very soon again. Thank you so much for having me. Really You're appreciate welcome. It. Thank You're you. welcome. Viewers, thank you so much for watching and commenting and sharing our interviews and content. Our non-profit company is the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, which is powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank, and the Talk the Talk Studios, powered by Seriti Solutions and Evo by NetBank, are aimed at recognizing and celebrating the woman of motoring South Africa, women just like Priscilla uh, right here. We are not just telling stories, we are trying to change lives. Together, we aim to empower and uplift the women of our trade. For those of you that are searching for your new ride, please visit www.auto.evo.africa. We have thousands of vehicles on sale for you to choose from. And we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is incredibly user friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews and car maintenance tips and advice all courtesy of Talk the Talk Studios. Ladies, I would just like to end this beautiful interview off by saying if we are going to be part of the solution we have to engage in the problems and I think one of the problem that we might have uh, is trust so trust is knowing that when a team member does push you they're going or they're doing it because they care about the team remember teamwork begins by building trust and the only way to do that is to overcome our need for um, invulnerability. A team is not a group of people who work together. It is a group of people who trust each other. Teamwork builds trust and trust builds speed. Without trust, we don't truly collaborate. We merely coordinate or at best cooperate. So it is trust that tra transforms a, a group of people in to 18. Um, I'm, I'm specifically talking about this because I have a great team behind me, two of them that are sitting right here in studio with me, not even listening to what I'm saying. Uh, mm. But I love my team and we, we've, we've really faced challenges and overcome those challenges and continue to hustle and overcome our challenges only because we are a team and we trust each other. And with that, I would like to remind you that the question isn't who's going to let me it should always be who's going to stop me